Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and today we're checking out the brand new Smart EQ2 by Sonable. This is a really clever EQ device that analyzes incoming audio and using artificial intelligence and machine learning adds a high resolution EQ curve for you. And then you have, of course, plenty of control over that curve, how much it's added, the strength of it, the width of it, the position, everything. But it does a lot of the work for you and it sounds really good each and every time. So I'm gonna show you how to use it and talk about some of the cool features inside of this new version. First of all, I'm gonna make it bigger by clicking right here and dragging, and I love resizable GUIs. Sometimes I wanna look at it very closely, sometimes I want it quite small and out of the way, but having the ability to do both is, you know, it's 2018, guys. If you're not doing this yet, you should be. So I'm glad Sonable's doing it, boom. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I have this on a piano. I can just go ahead and let it play and hit the capture button and it's gonna do its best job analyzing the incoming audio, deciding what it is and then adding an EQ curve to it. But I can also help the algorithm by coming into the profile section and choosing something from here. So I have a piano here and I wanna choose piano. It's just is essentially just like helping your buddy. You know what I'm saying? I want the best EQ curve possible. So I'm gonna help the artificial intelligence by saying, hey, this is a piano. Before you even get started, that's what's coming in. Do your best. But let's go ahead and preview the track first. All right, so that's the piano. I'm gonna go ahead and let it play. I'm gonna hit this button right here, which is the capture button, and I'm gonna let it go until it stops flashing. So let's do that. Boom, it stopped flashing. That means it's captured and made its final decision. And you can see when I said high resolution, it's very high resolution. You can see this little bump right here. To do that little bump, we need a filter node, you know, and then we need another one here and here and here and any of these dips or crevices, we'd need another EQ node. So I'm not sure how many points of resolution it is, but it is quite detailed. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and bypass the EQ to hear what it's done to the sound. So it's gotten rid a lot of the low end. It's gotten rid of the muddiness, which I do enjoy, but not necessarily that bassy low end. I want that bassy low end there. Uh, it helps to the subdued nature of the piano and it really boosts the high end over here. So it's done a great job. It sounds fantastic, but maybe I want this to be a little subdued, right? So that's why I can come in and choose, you know, the position and the strength by clicking and dragging right here. I can click and drag these right here. I can also use the controls up here. So we've got the position, the middle position, we've got the strength. We can invert that if we wanted to. Uh, we got the width, or I can just come in and click and drag until I get it right. So I want this like this. I want to bring this down a little bit, but I also want to pull this over. So I get, you know, this is getting rid of that muddiness, but it's allowing the subby, bassy part of the piano to come through. So let's go ahead and check that out. So much better in my opinion. It's a subtler change, but it's a change for the better and we're still keeping the elements that I like and boosting some of the other ones that weren't there before. So there's also an analyzer built in and I'm gonna come in and just choose both right here. And I like to use the analyzer while I'm doing it, but it's nice to be able to turn it off and just rely on your ears too, so. So now that this is, you know, pretty close to where I want it, I can come in and actually change, you know, the filters over here. I can use a, like a standard EQ. So maybe I want to roll it off just a little bit, but not too much. I can also come over here and change the filter type and we've got our controls. And what another thing that's really cool about the Smart EQ2 is any one of these nodes can be mid side or stereo. So let's say I want to boost 
the side content of this filter right here. I'm gonna leave it on this, but just choose side. You'll see that now it has an S right here and I'll pull it up and this is the boosted side material, okay? And the same thing for right here. Maybe I wanna get rid of some of that, that muddiness, but just for the mid part, I just click mid right here. You'll see that it's M, pull it down. All right, so that now that that's taken care of, uh, we got a lot going on. Let's go ahead and bypass it to see if it sounds better. So maybe let's boost up that low end over there, yeah. And again, we can come up to the Q value and make it uh, wider or more narrow. So I think that sounds absolutely fantastic. Another thing too, we can actually adjust the mid side balance right down here, which is something cool. I've not really ever seen this before, but you can easily just push it more to the side to push it more to the mid. Uh, whatever you wanna do, double clicking will set it back to its original state. We got the output gain. We got a lot, a lot of control, okay? Uh, it's really, really nice. The GUI function's really nice. Got a lot of smooth animation. It looks cool and sounds great. So um, definite win here for the Smarty Q2. Let's go ahead and listen to that piano in the context of the track now. Bravo, it just sounds so much better. It sticks out better in the mix. It sounds a little bit brighter without getting too crazy. And we did it very, very quickly. And for the most part, it was kind of hands off. I mean, I went a little bit bonkers here, changing it just a tad bit, making my own customizations. But for the most part, it's that high resolution EQ curve that was applied automatically by the Smart EQ. So uh, hats off to Sonable for this. I love the update. It's got a lot of great new features and of course, it always sounds fantastic. I mean, you already know what it is. You just heard it on that piano. So uh, that's a quick look at the Smart EQ 2. It's available already on Plugin Boutique. Just came out. Links in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper here, and I will see you in the next video.